Hi guys, Tim here doing another uh, military history video for you today and this time it won't be a battle but will actually be one of my war heroes well, war his the war hero stories and this time, well last time was on um, Sergeant York, Alvin um, C. York but this one, this video will be on uh, Major Charles Whittlesey now Major Charles Whittlesey was the commander Commander, or the Major, why I say Commander, um, was the commander of the 77th Infantry Division. That was the that's the 308th Um, infantry regiment and now their task his task was to hold capture and hold a sector of the Argonne Forest um, which the Argonne Forest was you know the Argonne Offensive which um, started on the 26th of September and ended on the uh, 11th of November 1918 um, and he and he um, start and he started this um, he started it on the 2nd of October with over five, over 500 men which is estimated 575 men under his command um, and you know as I said their, um, their their objective was to hold and capture the uh, the area of the sector of the Argonne Forest um, while enough for the French to uh, relieve them to you know support them because they're on their flanks um, both left and right flanks um, so from the 2nd of October to the 8th of October out of all that his own artillery company um, was shelling them because they had coordinates set out for the German position you know also known as where um, Charles Woodlesey's men were, um, so they, so the um, his men got shelled, and the only way they could actually stop is because of using a carrier pigeon. And now this carrier pigeon was, was of course, in the 77th um, Division's, you know, lot of pigeons, and it was a pigeon called Cherami or Cherami. The pigeon is a famous pigeon, and he was the person, well, the pigeon, sorry, to. Um, send the message, you know, to carry the message over and send it back to headquarters that um, just stop the um, artillery, you, you know, you're bombing your own men, destroying your own men. And yeah, I can't remember what medal it got uh, um, after that action, after the war, but um, it'll come to me someday. Um, so out of 500 over 500 men which uh, major charles woodsey sent in with him um, he brought back you know survivors was 195 survivors <laughs> yeah so that's quite a lot <laughs> um well quite a lot of casualties but you know only 195 um survived so yeah and Major Charles Woodsey, out of that, got um, which every American, you know, doughboy soldier would get after the war is the Victory Medal, which is this First World War Victory Medal. And sadly, this isn't his, and I wish it was. <laughs> yeah. And what he got, which, oh, plus he got the um, Medal of Honor, the Medal of Honor, which was the. Um, the highest serving medal in the US Army you know the highest one just like our British Victoria Cross is the highest in the US Army's medals and he also got the Cross de Guerre which were all um, 
Allied soldiers, got, you know, the French, not all of them, you know, just the French and the Americans, um, got the Cross de Guerre, which stands for Cross of War, um, so that's good, and so yeah, um, also there's a very famous film called The Lost Battalion, which was to do all about that event, so yeah, this has been a little war story on uh, Major Charles Woodlesey, so see you guys. <laughs>